Okay, here goes. Now let's see. Yep. Yeah. Hit the stop button here. Throw a pop light. Okay, let's make some tokens. And that should be the Menacing MTG here. We have a very cool token deck here and it is chaotic. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time describing this. Check out the link below, my Aetherhub uh, deck list link. All my decks are on Aetherhub. Uh, you should follow me there so you, so you can see my decks pop up. I put them on there typically before they actually publish here on YouTube. Also below is my Twitter link, which I also put up a tickler before uh, the deck lo launches on YouTube. So there's a couple ways that this just creates massive amounts of tokens. One is I have four copies of Outlaw's Merriment in here, and this creates human uh, tokens. They can be 3-1 with Trample Haste, 2-1 with Lifelink Haste, and a 1-2 with Haste, and it does one damage to any target when it comes on. Okay, so you have that there, and that is definitely a goal to get this out. Um, but then the other thing we have is... Um, we have Reverent Hoplite, which you've seen in uh, a Reflections deck that I have here. And I do have three of the Reflections in here. So we can make this go absolutely crazy and create an enormous amount of tokens. This creates more tokens based on your Devotion to White. We have a lot of things that boost up Devotion to White really quick. Like we have a lot of one drops, of course. But then we have Daxos that's too white. We have Ruined Halo that's two white. We have two Glorious Anthems that's uh, got two white. Um, then we have, you can time it so you can have uh, Elspeth on the board and then throw a Hoplite down, um, which would also bring back a dead Hoplite at the end of its turn, by the way. Um, so yeah, then we have another number of things. And we have the number of enchantments that um, stay on the board in most cases and get that devotion up as well we also have glass pool mimic so we can make a copy of hoplite um yeah so then we have a lot of life gain in this deck these guys are all lifelink creatures one drops um we can sack other things like these guys that are about to be killed and create a four for angel flying token which creates havoc we have at one griffin re enchantment Helps with the devotion, but also when we gain three or more life in a turn, it creates a 2-2 flyer. Luminarch adds 1-1 one, one counters. Rally the ranks gives all your creatures of a chosen type, which would be human in our case, um, because both this and this create human tokens. Luminarch throws 1-1s, one, rally the ranks, plus 1, plus 1 for those. We have a couple revitalized, gain 3 life, trigger Griffin RE, draw a card. Um, Rune of Sustenance. Now this you can throw on a creature, it gives it lifelink, but also draws you a card. Daxos, you gain life whenever a creature comes on the board. So when you drop Hoplite and it drops 50 tokens, you get a lot of life. When they eat any one of those creatures dies, you get a life. Okay, Ruined Halo, protection from a chosen uh, card name an opponent has. Mystic uh, Reflections, if you drop Hoplite, make sure you put your stop on your trigger settings. You watch me do it <clears throat> in a game I'm posting here, and you'll see it. So you drop this, you let it resolve, but it's stopped. Make sure you have your stop on. Then you uh, target that Reverend Hoplite with Mystic Reflections, and you get a slew of uh, additional tokens. All right, so um, what else do we have here? Super quick, Doomscar, key card here because we tend to have, once we get a couple merriments out, we don't mind wiping the board and losing a bunch of tokens because um, they're just coming back and we get a major advantage when that happens. Plus, when you bring Elspeth out, say at a later point, you get to bring stuff back. All right, a bunch of lands here, I'm not gonna go into it, but we have Arden Veil for token creation. I almost never use it because this thing is so effective on its own. Um, and that's the whole deck right there. Uh, Check out these games. Make sure you watch more than one game because this wins in different ways. And uh, it's nice to watch these games so you learn how to play it. 
and what to look for and how to prioritize your your life and whatnot. I will just throw in that glass pool mimic can be used as blue land because you're going to want to get these five drops rolling. Of course, Doomstar you can put into Fortel. But yeah, but blue land is a commodity here. We only have one here, one here possibly, one here possibly, and then Fable Passage. Okay, but this is another source of blue mana. All right, so I'm not going to talk anymore. Check out the games. Please subscribe. Please leave me feedback, um, likes, and thanks a ton for watching. Have a great one. Okay, not my favorite looking hand here. But we'll have to take it. We'll bring on all said first. Maybe Illuminart second. Hoping for a lot more land here. A run of lands needed. At least we got some small items to kind of keep us afloat. Okay, I am happy with that. This will allow us to come in with Alcide for lifelink. And that gives them a dilemma to creatures that they want to get rid of. They will probably be shocking something. Okay, Omnisees, that's good. Take a while to get rolling. We can remove it at some point. Okay, excellent land here. Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna go right at Glorious Anthem, which will again give us the ability to whack them with lifelink. That's good. I'm expecting a removal at some point, but we're charging towards some level of um, viability here. And they settle for card draw, and this is interesting here. Um, so what we're going to do is throw Doomscar up. And throw up the speaker. We're actually going to drop token on speaker. And we're getting into the ballpark of being able to create tokens. And we have our Doomscar backup plan, just one copy in the deck. <clears throat> we'll hope to not have to use it as we've got good devotion going here. <clears throat> and Hoplite will reap benefits. Surprised that we haven't seen removal and <clears throat> it's gonna get increasingly difficult. Perhaps a brazen borrower could really throw us off stride here. Alright, this guy's got haste. A good trade, but I'm um, not going to. They may not even come in with Sprite Dragon here so that they can actually block anything. Double block. Not a good sign for them and we get another mana which is awesome. And we gotta go blue just in case we get our reflections. Hoplite's ready, but we're actually going to bring on Elspeth. And really at this point, um, we're going to be able to create a token. That's game. Now yeah, we'll keep this hand. They got great mana going here. Okay. Well.
I think we're going to ditch a land. I hate to, but... Okay. <coughs> we could be looking at a Turgra deck here. Okay, yeah, here we go. Alright, I think we gotta ditch the reflections. Hate to. Alright, so now let's see what we got here. I think we're gonna put up a speaker. And then we'll uh, throw Revitalize up. And we're going to need that red mana. We won't bite at that. Okay, that's good news. Toss up the red mana. Toss up Rally of the Ranks. Human. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to come on in. Oh, that hurts. That hurts pretty bad. Could be worse. Okay, they got nothing else that they can make me sacrifice here. They're loaded up with cards is the scary thing, and we're empty-handed. Okay. We'll wait till they bring something of value on to uh, Doomscar. <clears throat> Four now. The Turgrid Lantern would be very painful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, we're going to Doom Scar here. And then we can revitalize. So we have a bit of a problem here. We've drawn 17 cards. We have seven lands on, so um, you know, we'll hope for some good spells. There's exactly what we needed. Precisely what we needed. And black doesn't have a lot of things that kill enchantments. Yeah, this is looking an awful lot like a Turgrid deck here. And I'll be running Boast and looking for something. Rider, that's a problem. <clears throat> okay, that's good. We're going to attack here. If they do block with Murderous, which I doubt they will, we would go ahead and sag it with the Angelic Ascension, and this is perfect because now we can just go ahead and sack it. So we get them down to 12 and we have a big blocker. I'm sure they have kill spells ready to go. Okay. 
What tokens cannot be stolen by Turgrid? Here's the lantern. Okay, that's tough. Okay. Brings them to seven, but they've got the rider that can come in <clears throat> and gain two. Okay, that's tough. They can boast again with uh, Varga, <clears throat> but we will not block when they come in. Bring us both to nine. A hoplite would be great here. Okay, not ideal. Red mana gotta throw it up. We don't want anything stolen. We're just gonna sit so we can block and kill now. And this is gonna hurt bad. <clears throat> and it's looking like it's over here as they can untap. We're going to need a lifelink token next here to have any hope whatsoever. Really, they should bring both of these in. Okay, they don't attack, which is interesting. Um, yeah, this is the game here, folks. Needed a lifelink creature there, did not get it. Did get one for one, but it's not really going to help me here. Now they can just go lantern crazy here. And they're going to make this indestructible. We'll gain a life. They still can click the lantern. <clears throat> they didn't need to spend that that way, though. They could have run the lantern because he wasn't going to die. And he gains life link, okay? I really have to have lifelink with this next token, and I need something usable. And I don't get it, unfortunately. Oh, Doomscar. He can make himself indestructible and end the game here. Um, Oh, 
Lantern time. Damn it, no lifelink. Well, that's the game, folks. That is the game. We can play one more turn here. We can sacrifice the uh, river glide. attached to that rider. Okay, yeah, that's super bad. They can still make this indestructible. Oh my god, this is sorcery speed. What was I thinking? Okay. Why didn't I run my lifelink creature first? Well, that was incredibly stupid. But we'll take this. That gives me some things to sacrifice. That really would have changed the complexion of things if I had run the lifelink creature. Okay, I could use an Elspeth right now. Although their weapons, I'm sure, are many in that hand. Maybe they've got a ton of sacrifice, or discard rather. Another merriment wouldn't hurt either. Okay, yeah, that is a problem. Okay, there's the lifelink. Excellent, and here, this is perfect resolute rider. Love that. Okay. Gain some life. Ooh, they don't block. Amazing. Okay. I love it. That was a mistake. Didn't read the ruined Halo card. I should have put up the blocker so that he had spent three, but now he's going to get to run. Okay. Flyer, that's a problem. But we do have the lifelink creature. 
and the mistake with the, the rider means I can run at least one. I don't like losing these permanents though, but oh, another life link token. That's amazing. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to bring them. Oh boy, they're in deep trouble. Deep, deep trouble. Ruined Halo saves my life here. An amazing game. Oh, nice kill. Nice kill. Now they can run Turgrid a couple times. We'll lose three. They can only come in for two. The flyer cannot block. They got to bring that in. They, so they can run uh, the lantern two more times. They don't run it. What are they thinking? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh my goodness. Huge, huge. That should be the game. Flyer can't block. Everything comes in. Good game. They can block with the with the rider. Oh, they kill the serpent. It's a game. What a win. Oh my god. Unbelievable from nowhere. Okay, yeah, we'll keep this hand. We got blue mana here. We got two whites, so we're off and running. Looks good. Just need a red mana, and we're pretty much ready to go. Now we don't need to use the glass pool as we have blue here. Bring up Elsa. Okay, um, All right. Card drag on there. We may still have a counter spell. And we've got oodles of land here. Put this into Fortel. And we'll come in. We can use Glass Pool Mimic to um, make a duplicate of Alced, but not, not really our first choice here. We're looking for a red mana. Or a hoplite. And they're happy just drawing cards, gaining resources. They have a ton of mana going. They're in very good shape. They have two mana available. They may have a counter spell. <coughs> okay. Um, we'll give this a try. Then we're going to duplicate it. So we've got a formidable little pack of um, lifelink creatures. And I know there's something big coming here. And all this card draw mayhem. Okay, Pelucranos, that's a problem. No 
can sack this and protect a creature. I think they know exactly that. Okay. Toss another one of these into Fortel. <clears throat> no attacks. <clears throat> and he may just come and attack. Al said he does. And actually, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to let him do that. It brings him down to four. I'll probably do it again. Okay. Okay, we need a red mana, folks. Not sure why they attacked with Pel Pelucranos there. Okay, there's our red mana. Now we're ready to go. All we need is a hoplite. We can attack with the speaker. <coughs> We have held our own. The opponent has a ton of mana, so we'll see if they have something that can kill enchantments. If we get a hoplite here, it's going to be big time. A quarter of the deck down, there's four in the deck, so we're due. Now they're going to be able to fight and kill the speaker if they choose. That's too bad. That's a big loss for us right there. They should be able to attack the speaker here with the flyer. They don't. They're going to hold it back. No. <clears throat> okay, here goes. Now let's see. Yep. Hit the stop button here. Throw a pop light. Okay, let's make some tokens. And that should be the game. Come in and attack with the speaker. <clears throat> Take out their creature and give us some life. Unless they have a sweeper here, it's over. Either way, it's a good game. They're stunned. Wondering what just happened there, probably. Cool card. Let's see, be careful what to do here. Um, okay. 
I think they'll be able to kill a few things. Have some good bodies, but we've just got too many things here. The ops for the feed the swarm. They'll reduce the power of everything, but it's a moot point unless they have a sweeper. Have four mana remaining. Nothing but blue green. Blacks are gone. So they cannot even play the Lockmere. That's the game. Um, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but let's give it a try. to it to win. <laughs> 